It's a very dangerous situation in California. We're going to bring in meteorologist Leah Pizzetti now to talk more about the active weather across the U.S. So give us the big picture here. Right, yeah. So we do continue to have that active weather, like you just said, in different parts of the country. One thing I want to point out as we take a wide look at the country, hey, you can see that moisture moving toward the Midwest, but take a look at California. As you just heard, those back-to-back -back atmospheric rivers. This is a fine line when it comes to California's weather. Uh, the West Coast relies on atmospheric rivers. It's those very moisture driven storms to bring that rain uh, to the West Coast. It's a huge, huge reason that we uh, stay out of drought on the West Coast, but too much too fast is where you get into that dangerous territory. And that's exactly what California is seeing right now. So once again, continuing to get hit by that rain, and that is what's causing that concern down to the South. Up here to the North, we're also feeling that rain right now. This is the loop of the last few hours. We can see that rain moving through Western Washington. Most of us feeling it today. Rain totals pretty impressive. Look at that over the Olympic Peninsula, three quarters of an inch in Shelton. SeaTac at just below half an inch of rain so far today. Everett at about a quarter of an, or excuse me, a fifth of an inch. Uh, Olympia just shy of half an inch as well for uh, so far for today. And we're going to continue to see the impacts of this storm as we head into our evening hours, but it does look to dissipate as we head into our overnight hours for tonight. Then into tomorrow, spotty rain chances continue. Then Tuesday afternoon, another system is going to bring rain chances to Western Washington. That continues into Wednesday. Uh, same thing by Wednesday evening. Some spotty showers are continuing. Uh, then we're going to get a little bit of a break as we head into the end of the week. So taking a closer look at Western Washington into tonight, we're going to continue to see spotty showers. But like I said, the worst of it is over. Uh, we saw those heaviest rain totals earlier today. It's going to be dissipating as we head into our overnight hours. Then by tomorrow afternoon, we still have some spotty shower chances, but uh, to be completely frank, it's the worst is over. Uh, it's going to favor the Olympic Peninsula, but could not rule out a couple raindrops uh, for a Puget Sound area. Same thing into Tuesday morning. It'll be pretty mild for most of us, but take a look at that over the Pacific. By Tuesday morning, yet another storm is arriving. Uh, so by Tuesday night, it looks to become more widespread. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning is when we have our next real high chances uh, for that rain. Right now, 44 degrees in Seattle. We do still have that rain falling, but should be falling apart into our next couple of hours. Overnight lows for tonight, hanging out in the low 40s. Daytime highs for tomorrow, getting up into the mid to upper 40s. That's right on track with where we typically are for this time of year. So for Everett for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, not ruling out a couple raindrops possible through the day. Same thing for Seattle, getting up into the upper 40s by the afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies, but could see a couple raindrops. Olympia could even see a little bit of sunshine into tomorrow. Same thing, getting up into those upper 40s. And as we take a look at the next seven days, temperature is staying pretty stagnant, but those rain chances come and go for the first half of the week, second half of the week looking a little bit more dry.